I wish I had this roadmap when I was struggling to crack coding interviews. If you want to know everything about the world, data structures and algorithm in 2024, you cannot miss this video. When you walk out, you do the warm up first, right? So here are the basics for you. First of all, you need to choose a programming language, whether it's C Sharp, Java or C++. Choose whatever suits your style. Get comfortable with the basic syntax because you have to be able to handle variables, loops and conditionals with ease. So it is you need to know how to cook an omelet before cooking a nine course meal. Also, writing efficient code with focus is important because it's not just about making your code work. It's about making it work efficiently and in DSA efficiency is needed. Now that you have known the basics, it's time to understand the time and space complexity. Think of big O notations as your algorithm speedometer. It helps you gauge how your code performs as the input size grows. You will encounter terms like O of 1, O of n and O of log n. Knowing this will help you choose the right approach for different problems. Understanding common complexities will help you in choosing the best solution for different case scenarios. It's like when going to a trip, it's always better to prepare in advance so that everything goes smoothly. Now you need to be equipped with data structures and have unique uses and strengths. Key data structures to master. Arrays are your basic building blocks for storing data in linear fashion. Practice operations like searching and sorting. Arrays are simple yet versatile and are ideal for multiple tasks. Second type of data structures are strings. They are crucial for text processing, master string manipulations and pattern matching to handle various text-based problems efficiently. Strings are like your go-to tool for dealing with textual data. Linked lists offer a dynamic way to manage data. They allow efficient insertion and deletion of elements. Get to know singly, doubly and circular linked lists. Each has its own set of applications. Stacks and queues handles data in specific order. Stacks use last in first out LIFO while queues follows first in first out also known as FIFO. They are useful for implementing features like undo operations and managing tasks. Trees are perfect for hierarchical data. Start with binary search tree and then explore more advanced types like avial trees. Trees help you organize and retrieve data efficiently. Heaps manages data based on priorities. They are used in algorithms like heap sort and for priority queues, think of heap as tool for handling tasks based on their importance. Graphs are everywhere from social network to routing algorithms. Learn traversal techniques like depth force search and breadth force search. Graphs are essential to understand complex relationships and networks. Hash table are great for quick data retrieval. Learn about hashing, collision, resolution and their application in caching and indexing. Hash tables are like speedy indexes for your data. Now that you have your data structure by your side, it's time to know the algorithms. Essential algorithm to focus on is sorting algorithms are important. Practice with quick sort, merge sort and heap sort. Knowing when and how to use each sorting methods will help you tackle different problems efficiently. Searching algorithms are crucial too. Binary search is especially useful for finding elements in sorted array quickly. It's also a lot faster than linear search and essential for many problems. 
Dynamic programming involves breaking down complex problems into smaller ones. Try problems like the knapsack problem and longest common subsequence. Solving big problems step by step is the key here. Greedy algorithms make the best choice at each step. Study problems like activity selection and minimum spanning tree. Greedy algorithms help you build solutions incrementally by making optimal choices. Backtracking explores all possible solutions by undoing and retrying. Problems like the n-twin problem and pseudo solver are great examples. Backtracking is about finding the right path through trial and error. You must be feeling overwhelmed, right? Well, you don't have to be. So here's a six months plan which will keep you on track. How to prioritize topic and loan in six months. So in month one, basic and time complexity. In the first month, you will be focusing on the programming fundamentals and understanding the time and space complexity. Just spend about two weeks on the basics and two weeks on complexity. In month two, arrays and strings. In the second month, dive into arrays and string practice common operations and algorithms. Allocate two weeks for arrays and two weeks for strings. Month three, link list and stacks or queue. In the third month, you need to explore link list and their operations. Then learn about stack and queues. Spend two weeks on learning link list and another two weeks on stacks and queues. In month four, trees and heaps we want to learn. In month four, study trees and heaps, practice trees, traversals and heap operations. I'll go two weeks for the trees and another two weeks for heaps. For the fifth month, get into graphs and hash tables. Implement graphs algorithms and understand hash functions. Spend two weeks on graphs and another two weeks on hash tables. In month six, algorithm and advanced topics. In a month six, focusing on sorting, searching, dynamic programming, greedy algorithms and backtracking. Spend about three weeks on algorithms and one week for review and practice. There are some common difficulties that you might face. Let me tell you how to avoid them during the process. Common pitfalls and how to avoid them. Overemphasis on theory. Theory is great, but don't forget to code and apply your knowledge. It's practice that makes perfect. Second is lack of practice. Consistent practice is required. If you want to stay sharp and effective, keep solving problems. Third one is ignoring new trends. The field is evolving quickly. Stay updated with the latest trends to keep your skills relevant. Fourth is not considering efficiency. Always think about the efficiency of your solution. It's not just about solving problems, but solving them effectively. Then what's next? In the coming video, I'll be coming up with more advanced data structures and algorithms. Well, we'll explore patterns in DSA, which are crucial for tackling complex problems and optimizing your solution. Get ready for it. It's going to make your coding skills even sharper. All right, that's our wrap. Mastering DSA in 2024 is not true. But with the roadmap, you have got a solid plan. Now just remember to keep your skill fresh and apply what you learn. That's the key to really getting ahead.